Hi, I'm David Cadilla, the visual effects supervisor on Street Fighter The Later Years. I'm going to show you how we did this shot for the movie. Sam Reich from collegehumor.com asked if we could do this shot of the stretching arm. We said sure. Digital human skin is very hard to pull off, so we wanted to use as much of the real stuff as possible. We designed and shot this test in Los Angeles and emailed it to the film crew in New York. The cinematographer used this as a guide for the shoot. The footage that came from New York was perfect. This first pass here is just for the taxi, and this second pass is for the actor's hand on the pole. First, I lined up the timing of the two passes so that the hand grabs the pole just before the camera settles to make it look like the cameraman's taken by surprise. Then, I tracked the hand to match the movement of the pole and cut the hand out frame by frame. James took these pictures of my left arm from different angles, which I used as reference while building my arm in 3D. James stretched and blended the photos together to create this wraparound texture for my arm. I rigged it with bones and inverse kinematics, which let me animate the arm by moving the wrist. We ran the shot through some camera matching software, which gave us a virtual camera matching the real one. Then I animated the arm stretching out and matching the actor's hand. On top of that, I added a shirt with some cloth simulation, which you can't even see in the final shot anyway. Here's the final rendered 3D arm by itself. To create the hand reaching out, the cinematographer took this picture. I cut the hand out and animated it on top. I also took a freeze frame of the actor letting go, cut his hand out there, and animated it stretching and letting go. It took me a day or two to blend all of these pieces together, matching their colors, dissolving them into each other, and placing things behind foreground objects like the pole and this parked car. Subtle details like the shadow on the cab help add a little depth and realism. Here's the final shot. Considering it only took five days, we're very happy with it. This was a very fun project, so thanks to Sam and his team for the opportunity. Check out the movie at collegehumor.com. Thanks for watching.